Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of this pair of sneakers right here. Excited to show you guys these in detail. And this is one of those pairs I've been looking forward to actually copying uh, from the very beginning of when these actually dropped. But they're kind of hard to come by because they sell them in small quantities and they sell out very quickly. Uh, but I did luck out and get them from End and I tweeted out some links to you, to you guys when I copped them. And these ones were quite easy to get. They were available pretty much all day on the site when I did cop them. This is a price point as you can see it. So I think it was 150 shipped. So not a bad price point. And even better, it's the NMD XR1 PK. Now I don't know if they make this model without PrimeNet or if they're all PrimeNet, but it wasn't um, something that they actually disclosed on the site that it was PrimeNet. So because of that, I was kind of surprised and, and it ended up working out in my favor where I was able to cop them um, for uh, a decent price and even better it was primate so wanted to show you guys these side by side to some of the other models um this obviously just the regular nmd model and then um the regular nmd model with kind of a little extra on it and regular model and then you have the the city sock so i, I thought this would be a fun video because i could show you kind of the evolution between uh these from this one to this one to this one and Leave a comment, let me know which one you guys like the best out of all of the NMDs, which is the most comfortable or your favorite model. Um, and I'll let you guys know mine right now is this one because I really like this one. Is, is it really a surprise to you guys though? Without that that cage on here, you guys know I, I'm all about freeing the cage and, uh, and freeing the sneaker uh, from the cage. Um, yeah, I don't know. Free the, free the sneakers, hashtag free the sneakers. I, I don't know why I like uh, to remove the cages. I like that liberating like feeling of not being locked down too too tight and maybe that's because i just like to wear shoes casually so this one's like a match made for me this is pretty close i mean i'm really tempted to remove this cage because i think it would be fun but you know i don't know how i feel about doing that it might be kind of it would be easy to do i could see the lines but uh but then it would look pretty similar to that one or kind of a hybridish of that one i'm not sure yet how i feel about it um, if you guys want me to remove this cage though, leave a comment, man. If I get enough comments saying do it, I might, I might give it a try. Anyway, let's get into the comparison. I've been rambling long enough. This model looks drastically different than the other ones. There's quite a, an evolution that's going on with this uh, model in particular. As you see from the original one, the soles are identical. There's, so there's nothing different here. Exactly the same soles. Very, very minimal traction attached to the boost. Same thing we saw on the pure boosts uh, back in the day. And then you see they did this though. This is the biggest difference on the midsole, the Lego blocks as we call them, uh, the front one right here, they removed it or they, they shaved it down quite a bit. So it's a little bit different here. And I, I don't know, I haven't worn these enough to, to tell if, if I notice a liberating enough change where it's not locked down as much, but that one has changed. The back one has stayed the same. And then the one on the inside also has stayed the same. So Kind of interesting that that ended up changing though, that they moved this one or shaved it down. I think it's a good move. Ultimately, this one kind of sticks out like a sore thumb and this one definitely looks more like, like a clean aesthetic to the shoe. Um, but I also think that the shoe is, if it's evolving, maybe we'll see some evolution of the boost because that's the part that I think this is lacking the most in my personal opinion. Coming from somebody that that's rocked the Pure Boost 1 and Pure Boost 2, then the, the Ultra Boost and like a bunch of other different models, not just the hyped up ones. Um, like these ones are the least comfortable out of all of them and they have quite a bit of boost. So I think if they, they made it a little bit more significant or changed maybe something about it to make it so it's more like the Pure Boost, that would be an ultimate win uh, for everybody. Then I think that people, um, then these ones, these ones, they can make as many, any of the NMDs, they can make as many as they want and they'd sell out just because the the comfort. People will finally see what I was telling you guys about with a pure boost back in the day. But um, so the other things that changed, pretty significant, the back section here, they they totally changed this. This is a rubberized kind of uh, cage area right here with the, the Adidas logo. They said, no, nah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a leather strap here and then weave the uh, Adidas pull tab through. So you could you could go like this. You could go like this if you want to. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's really going to want to do that, but you can, you have the freedom, you have the, the freedom to do such. Um, no, I think that's kind of interesting, but, but it kind of fun because it gives you like a better, like vision of the entire strip instead of just that one thing. But if you like that, that strip thing there, I mean, you could just get these and they show everything on that, but I think that's kind of a cool little change. Also, you can see the little, uh, it's like more curved, 
like comparison to the regular version, which I think is kind of interesting. Obviously the tongue is way higher and instead of just like an iron on on the tongue or like on this one where it's a little bit thicker of an iron on, you actually have a leather uh, insert. So it's a little bit more material. Insole is the same, boost, it's not really much, it's just the boost um, on the bottom and then that thin little thing, same as on the Pure Boost. But uh, the other big huge change obviously is this cage. So they went from just these little little joints right here, non-functional laces to this kind of non-functional laces with the, with the, uh, the cage. So kind of that's pretty much it. I mean th those are the major differences between them. Same fundamentals on the shoe minus the upgrade or change uh, in the front pod section and uh, the cage and then the back was different, tongues higher. Prime knit materials though are really nice. And then just so you can see a side by side of these ones. So a lot of people are gonna wonder, you know, is it is it the same height or not as the city sock? And it, it is pretty similar to the city sock. The city sock obviously hugs all around the, the ankle area and this one is more like a, a traditional like M NMD, like an, an exaggerated NMD uh, shape with the, the tongue and the back area right there. I think these would look pretty cool with the, the cage remove. I don't know. I just don't know if I want to do it. It took me a while to get these shoes and uh, we'll see after I beat them up. And then by, if I get a second pair coming, I'll, I'll remove the cage on one of them most likely. But leave a comment if you actually want to see it or leave a comment saying, don't do it. Leave the cage, yes. Um, I mean, it is ultimately up to me, but you know what I'm saying. It's fun to, to see if you guys like it. You guys give me such a hard time. Some of you guys like are sincere and, and think it's hilarious. Other, other of you guys actually just hate me and thumbs down everything probably because you just think I'm a retard. But it is what it is though. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys what they look like on feet right here. So what do you guys think about the NMD XR1 PK? I don't know what the XR stands for. Um, honestly, do you guys know? Leave a comment if you know what the XR stands for. I, I figured it means cross running. I don't know. Like usually X means training, but the R1 is like uh, running one, I'm assuming. Um, and then this uh, SCS for the city sock is city sock. So I don't know what the XR stands for. I should probably learn that. But uh, but I like the overall aesthetics of the shoe. I think that Adidas is doing some phenomenal things and I'm really excited to see where this takes us in the future. 2017, I think 2016 is the jump off year where like people will start to turn their heads. But 2017 is just going to be a ridiculous year. Um, it reminds me similar to like if I'm going to relate it to my DJing career. Like when I first started DJing a new nightclub in town and I first started promoting it and then it finally people got the the word and the buzz that that place was going to be popping off and because it went from nothing, 20 people a night to three, four, 500 people a night. And once it got to the point where the, the, the buzz hit and then it jumped off, then it was like like sustainable every single week. It was just cracking like every single week and it was super fun. I think that Adidas next year is going to be the, the year that it, everything starts cracking because they've already shown us they have the ability to make really dope designs and really comfortable sneakers. So let's see how, what uh, 2017 brings. Anyway, hope you guys like this review. If you did, smack the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Again, I've been saying it, trying to hit that 200,000 subscriber mark, and I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you guys for watching the video, and we'll catch you guys in some more videos soon. Peace.